Yesterday I found this cute little bumblebee in my flowers, just a slurpy nectar as you can see. And well, I decided to greet this little ambassador of spring by taking some nice macro shots. But well, she was moving quite fast as you can see. But then I found that this morning she's still there. Quite cold and it was just about uh, 3 degrees Celsius, which is uh, very close to freezing point. And she was hardly moving, which was perfect for macros. You can find these photos on my Flickr, the link is in the video description again. And here I am putting the bee bag on the flowers. I just found it on the underside of a flower stiff <laughs> this morning. And uh, yeah, I just also put some honey on that stick. I was actually trying to put the honey onto uh, the flower, but uh, the bee just got stuck to it. So I'm trying another stick. Uh, you can see the bee seems quite hungry and she's uh, slurping from the stick already but that means I'm losing focus due to too much movement so I'm trying my best to feed that little bee you can see her tongue is still out there trying to lick some of the remains that might be on the flower but well I should be a little less greedy and put a bigger drop for her on the flower somehow now you can see her little tongue coming out to slurp up the honey that I put there for her. Which is quite nice, I think. Because you, despite some wind, you can still see the details quite nicely on this macro HD video. By the way, bees have a total of five eyes. They have these two large compound eyes that are made up of hundreds of individual eye units but also three more eyes, just for detecting light intensity, which are just uh, right on her forehead. You can actually see that in my macro photos. So, despite this being a little bit of an unusual video, I still hope you enjoyed this look at the little ambassador of spring.